Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I wanted to create a Valentine's Day look, but I didn't want to use any things. So I decided to create this very warm toned uh, smoky eye. For this look, I used all affordable products except the lipstick. I don't know why I did that, but I will leave affordable options to that color in the description box down below. So let's get started. For eyeshadows, I'm going to take the ColourPop Yes Please palette. First, on a fluffy uh, crease brush, I'm going to take the shade uh, Note to Self and put this pretty much everywhere in my crease. Taking the shade GNO on a smaller blending brush, placing this eyeshadow in the socket first, then blending it into the crease. So there is a nice transition from GNO to, to Note to Self. And I'm also winging this one out at the end just to create that tatter effect. To further deepen up the eye look, I'm using the shade Spoiled on a Morphe M405. Concentrating this color just in my socket, I want the crease to transition from the darker color to the lighter transition color. Then taking some Age Rewind Concealer and doing a half cut crease here. Now I'm gonna pat the color Louis on top of the concealer. This is such a pretty duochrome color, my favorite shade from the whole palette. Then I'm gonna go back to Morphe M405 with no additional product and I'm just going to blend out the edges of the previous eyeshadow so there are no uh, harsh lines. To further deepen up the outer corners, I'm taking the shade French Kiss, slowly starting to build this color on the outer corners. With whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to drag it into the socket. Then applying the shade Spoiled in between the shimmery shade and deep brown shade to add extra depth to the whole eyeshadow look. Taking some Maybelline Gel Liner on an eyeliner brush and adding that very close to my lash line. Just to add some definition, I'm not doing any winged liner with this look. Going in with some Allure Accent Falsies, then I'm gonna work on the base makeup. For my primer, I'm taking the NYX Angel Well Blood Primer and applying this pretty much everywhere on my face. Then I'm gonna go in with my Pixi Milky Mist just to add some extra hydration to my skin. And then I'm gonna let that dry down. I'm gonna do my base makeup a little bit different today. First, I'm gonna use the concealer. Uh, this is Age Rewind in the shade Caramel. And applying this very close to my under eyes, uh, just to cancel out any darkness that I have. Blending it out using my mini beauty blender before I go in with my foundation. For foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline Superstay foundation in the shade Golden and spreading this across my face. Before blending out the foundation, I'm gonna spritz my beauty blender with some Pixi Milky Mist. This is going to uh, help make the blending process easier. It's also going to add some hydration and extra glow to the skin. Then to highlight my face, I'm taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Media and applying this underneath my eyes but I'm not going very close because I already concealed all the darkness. Uh, right here, I'm just brightening my face. Then again taking the Mini Beauty Blender and just blending out the concealer. If you see any harsh edges, just take the sponge that you applied your foundation with and just blend out the edges so everything seems blended in. To chisel out my features, uh, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in the shade uh, Call Me Maple and applying this on the hollows of my cheekbones and also on my jawline. I'm also applying this uh, on the sides of my nose. I'm just using my finger to blend out the nose contour. And I'm going to use my Beauty Blender uh, to blend out the contour on the other areas. Now that I've applied all the cream products, I'm taking my Essence Brighten Up Powder and set my concealer in place. Moving back to eye makeup, I want the centers of my lid to catch more light. For that, I'm taking the uh, Colourpop uh, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Get Lucky and just pressing that in, in the centers of my lid using my fingers. Then I'm gonna use the shade GNO and buff this out on my lower lash line. To add more definition to my lower lash line, on a pencil brush, I'm taking the shade French Kiss and applying this very close to my lower lash line. I'm not gonna buff this out as much as I did with the shade GNO. To highlight my inner corners, I'm taking the shade uh, Get Lucky, the Super Shock shadow that I used earlier. Then finishing off the eyes by applying some Maybelline Snap Scara to my lower lashes. 
for blush, I'm taking the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Coral. Uh, using my Beauty Blender to apply this right above where I applied the contour. I'm taking the Milani highlighter, literally turning my face towards the light and I'm just applying this highlighter wherever the light hits it. Then I'm gonna apply some more of that uh, Pixi Milky Mist on the high points of my face just to make the highlighter pop even more. Moving on to lips, I'm taking the Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gold. First I'm lining my lips with this, then I'm gonna fill them in. I will leave affordable options to this lip color in the description box down below. That finishes this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day no matter who you're celebrating with. Have fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!